Hi, this is Martin and in this video I'm going to show you how to use defaults with Vizlib templates. The purpose behind Vizlib templates is to not only speed up your development process by introducing pre-configured designs, as you can see here in the template section at the top right, but to also help you standardize your development. So let's say in this example, every time I'm creating a new Vizlib KPI, I want to be able to set my own pre-configured design right from the beginning, right? So what I've done here on the right hand side is I've created my design in the previous demo that, you know, I can always select it and apply it by clicking on it, but sometimes I want to be able to jumpstart to the selected design immediately. This is where templates come into play, right? There are two types of templates. There are company templates and there are personal templates that are applied for the app. Now, all you gotta do is select a design that you like, right? Uh, it could be a personal one that I've just created, for example, and you see a little tiny house icon at the bottom right. You click on this and you eventually mark this as your personal default. You can also design choose any of the available designs, it doesn't really matter. So coming back to my personal one I've just created, I've just assigned this as a default, I'm closing my sheet. So now, as you see, if I delete my KPI designer and I start now from scratch by bringing in a freshly created object, all I gotta do is drag and drop it on the screen and poof, my default design is applied immediately. Now let's say I like defaults, however, I would like everybody within my organization, everybody who's using Vizlib and the KPI designer to have a certain default uh, applied. So in this case, I'm going to go back to my templates, right, just to showcase the example. I'm going to remove the defaults I've just applied, right, and I'm going to go directly into the user portal, right? If you want to be able to apply a company default, only the admin is able to do that, not every individual user for governance reasons. So now effectively what I can do is I can see here, all right, there has been a couple of uh, templates that were created and I can say, right, the one that has been created by Michael is the one I want to define as a default template for everything. I click here, I set this as a default, and that's it. So now every individual user who comes into ClickSense and creates a KPI designer from scratch will by default have this design applied. And that's it. Visit templates can effectively help you define a default design standard that follows your apps or even your company's design and branding guidelines and makes it easy to apply a unified design across your app or your whole environment. Really powerful.